Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice for radio, so today we need to take a look at something that's happening over in Thailand, which looks awesome. You should be very jealous of this. This is genuinely phenomenal. What we've got is, how has it actually been translated? The EX Compact Deck. There we go. But basically what we've got is a bunch of 30 card decks that come in each of 10 types. Yes, including Dragon. Yes, including Colorless. No, obviously not including Fairy. That would be ridiculous. Each of them has an EX in. And then you take this and you go and play. And there are a couple of things that are amazing about this. I should say there's not actually just 10 of these. There are 18 different, but there's 10 different typings. And there's a couple of things about this that are amazing, which we'll get to in a minute. But also, for sealed play, this is phenomenal. Like, I like deck building into Pokemon TCG, as I know a bunch of you do. In fact, honestly, if we're being real about this for a minute, my favorite thing about the Pokemon trading card game is deck building. I adore deck building and deck tweaking. It makes me extremely happy. However, I also like pick up and sealed play. For new players that are learning to play the game and getting into it, sealed play is absolutely fantastic. Picking up a theme deck or whatever, I, I always keep a few theme decks hanging around. Not all terribly recent because theme decks don't exist anymore. But for many, many years, I've kept a bunch of theme decks lying around very simply because when I need to teach someone to learn the Pokemon trading card game, they are a phenomenal way to teach someone how to play the Pokemon trading card game. And also, sometimes it's just fun to pick up a deck and play. It's a fun way to go about doing things. This is phenomenal for sealed play. So that's the first thing we need to bear in mind here. For sealed play, this is amazing. The other thing we need to bear in mind... These cards are coming from all over the place, and I absolutely love it. Most of these started life as promos over in Japan, although some of them have since ended up in our products for various reasons. You know which one hasn't? Graphii. Graphii EX is in this product. You can get it in one of the decks, and as it stands at the moment, and we're going to talk about this more in the not-too-distant future... As it stands at the moment, that card is unreleased in English. Now, presumably we're going to get it. It would be a very strange occurrence if we didn't. But this was... Well, it happened over in Korokoro comic. And basically, you bought the comic, and buying the comic got you a shrewdel. And I did buy the comic, and I did get my shrewdel. And then you got a, a little bit in the comic, which you would take into a shop and trade it for a Graph IEX. And I'm very ashamed of myself because I'm pretty sure I got the right thing in the comic. And then I went to Japan and I forgot to take it to Japan and I never got my Graph IE. And I'm pretty sure I could have just taken the bit from the comic I'd already bought into a shop and got my Graph IE X. And I didn't. And that's actually genuinely quite annoying to me. Because this Graph IEX is fantastic. Uh, presumably the Shrudel is going to be in the deck as well. Although that is currently unconfirmed. Uh, if you want a translation, it's single energy, 30 damage, flip a coin if paralysis. And then free energy, 180 plus poison. But you cannot use this attack during your next turn. It, it's fine. It's not particularly good. But it was part of an art competition and it is a phenomenal card. I like this very, very much indeed. And it's interesting, of course, because like I say, there's been no English release. Now, the rest of them have had an English release, but they have been a little bit all over the place. So, for instance, we've got the trio coming in here of Pormot, Houndstone, and Toadscrawl, which for us, admittedly, just came around in Obsidian Flames. They are not particularly interesting in terms of how they were released in English. They were just popped into Obsidian Flames and then we all got on with our lives. That is not what happened over in Japan. Over in Japan, they had that amazing product where you got a bunch of packs. But then you also got yourself a random pack where you would get one of the EXs in either Pormot, Houndstone or Told Scroll. And what was kind of fun, Pormot and Houndstone I actually picked up in a random shop in Akihabara for like 100 yen each. It's like 60p. It was extremely cheap. Now, the Toad School I did have to work ever so slightly harder 
but I, I still picked it up in a random shop in Japan for next to nothing. Let's not pretend it was a particularly difficult task. But these were random promos over in Japan that came around in this EX set. And then they end up coming in over here. And we can keep going with this. Because there's a whole bunch of others which got weird releases over in Japan. Like, for instance, the Greedent and Dragonite. Now, for us, these are the Terra Greedent and Terra Dragonite. For us, once again, these are ones that came around in Obsidian Flames. Regular cards came around in the set. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Move on with your life. But that wasn't the case over in Japan. Over in Japan, these were released in the... Well, there were those starter decks we'll get to in a minute. But then they were released in the Omakase decks. And then we actually had to wait until very recently when in Japan, they were finally actually just released as separate decks that you can just go and buy. And I haven't actually been able to pick these up yet, which is a little bit sad. But at some point in the not too distant future, I'm totally going to and it's going to be fun. We've got the Mewtwo and Skeledurge, which for us have just come around in Paradox Rift. No whiffs, no buts, no maybes, nothing particularly unusual. They're just ordinary everyday run of the mill EXs that came around in Paradox Rift. But over in Japan, this was not the case. They were in the separate EX decks. And it's actually worth pointing out, we, we haven't got time to go through all 18 of these EXs in detail in this video for... For pretty obvious reasons. But the Skeledurge is legit. The Skeledurge is really, really good. It's got the ability Incendiary Song, which lets you discard a basic fire energy from your hand, and then attacks from your Pokemon do 60 more to your opponent's active. It's really quite good. This is a very, very good ability, which is seeing a bunch of play and a bunch of success, and a lot of people are using it and having a lot of fun with it. This is very much one of the best ones in this set. And certainly if you're picking this up to play sealed, that would be one of the ones I would absolutely be hoping for because this one is absolutely brilliant. And then we get the EX decks. Like the whole set of EX decks that were released over in Japan, the ones that had the Emikase decks along with them. So you've got yourself your Grass Decidueye and your Fire Victini and your Water Greninja and your Lightning Maridon and your Cyclic Fable, and your Fighting Coridon, and your Darkness Houndoom, and your Metal Melmetal. All of these, all of which were promo decks over in Japan, or starter decks, I suppose, are all just popped in here. Again, for us, nothing particularly interesting these are all just kind of released quite nice i say they all were most of them were it is worth noting that greninja is actually an ex deck for us and as it stands at the moment it is exclusive to and can only be found as an ex deck but generally speaking these were just insets for us and it was all nice and easy and then we've got the Pikachu. Now, Pikachu was its own deck over in Japan, a very cool deck over in Japan. Yes, I picked this one up. The thing is, right, I, I pick up all the Japanese decks. I get a bit frustrated at how difficult it is to find Japanese boxes nowadays, but I do think I'm a little bit justified here, because not only do I want to pick up all the Japanese boxes and collect the Japanese cards, I pick up the EX decks, you know, like the Pikachu EX deck. Yeah, totally picked that up. All these EX decks I've been telling you about in this video today, I've picked all of them up except the Dragonite and Greedon, which I've not seen yet, but I will be as soon as I can because that's very important to me. I love these. That's why I feel a little bit justified being frustrated at not always being able to find Japanese boxes. Having said that, I've not missed a set yet, so fingers crossed I can keep this rolling. Uh, that was actually the Pikachu, again, just in a regular set for us. It was one of those where there were a lot of big questions about exactly, you know, how is that Pikachu going to be released and all of that. It was just in Powder Air Evolved. They just whacked it in Powder Air Evolved and Job was a good one. These cards for us, and you'll see there's an interesting thing going on with releases here. Whereas in Japan, these have all been random promos from all over the place. Over here, we've just popped them into decks. But remember, Thailand tends to have the same sets as Japan. So they don't get the cards in the set because they're getting the same sets as Japan and they're not in the set. But they don't always get the same decks as Japan. So they end up with all of these missing. And then we get a product like this, which whacks them all together. And the releases here are all over the place. And then there's one really weird one, which doesn't make sense. 
Every other one I've told you about came from either a promo or some unreleased deck that Japan had had that Thailand hadn't, and they had to essentially catch up. Except Charizard. It's literally the Charizard from 151. It's not new art. It's not alternate art. It's not a new card. It is nothing about this. It is literally just the Charizard from 151. And it sticks out in this product like a sore thumb. Everything else is a Japanese promo or deck card, which needed to be released in Thailand, gets whacked into these jobs are good. And. But there's two reasons, as far as I'm concerned, that Charizard's in here. Number one, 17's a weird number. 18's a much better number. And, except for Philip Rivers. And number two, Charizard. We've already got a Pikachu in here. Why not whack a Charizard in there? And I'm pretty much assuming that's the reason why. Honestly, I think they'd probably put a Mew and a Mewtwo in if they could. But we've already got Clefairy. We've already got Houndstone. It would seem a little bit weird to do that. Well, let's be fair. There are three Lightning Pokemon. My point is, this is an awesome product. I love this. And I want something like this over here. We generally tend to get Japan's promo and starter deck EXs in sets. Which does make something like this a little bit awkward. But I still want this. 30 card decks, you get one at random, amazing for sealed play, this is brilliant, I love it, I want to try and pick some of these up. Do bear in mind, if you do go and pick some of these up, make sure you use Shippen and use the promo code PTCGRADIO15, I get a kickback, you get 15% off shipping, everybody wins. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this, I want to know how excited you are about them, I want to know anything you want to tell me, so let me know in the comment section, would you get us? Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely It's a Coaster, who is a lovely person and is one of the most active people over on the Discord. So shout out to them for all the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.